I think my favorite part of this build is when you plug it in, it starts humming. And when the hum is done, you know you're ready. In honor of Thor Ragnarok, we're making a whole bunch of Thor's hammers for our Make It Real series. Now, on this episode, we're going to show you how we made this electrified, capacitor-driven Thor's hammer. It's really good. Wear earplugs. Alright, so we figured out how to place a capacitor inside of Thor's hammer, and it fits pretty good. Now we have to figure out how to charge it. To do that, we're going to use a bridge rectifier and just plug it into the wall. What a bridge rectifier does is it takes AC and puts it through a bunch of diodes so that it is DC coming out and it's uh, in, what, quarter waves or something? Um, going into, uh, into a capacitor, then it's just charges it to the uh, peak value of the RMS, peak value of the sine wave. For more information on how this circuit works and to see the complete circuit diagram, click the link in the description below. Special thanks to DigiKey for helping to provide some of the components for this project. Now, if you were to plug this directly into the wall, it would uh, it'd probably blow, blow the circuit because the capacitor would try to draw more than 15 amps while charging. So we're gonna put a resistor in series with the charging circuit so it's uh, nice and safe. This is a 10 watt, five ohm resistor. There. What happened? So did the light flicker there? Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah, I'll use a piece of solder. And that's that's half the power that we're going to be doing in that. Don't do it again. I want to just I want it to be discharged. Perfect. <laughs> uh -huh. And what did you use to discharge it? Piece of solder. So yeah, that was that was 120. That was 120. And we're going to charge it up from 240. <laughs> and if you want more power, simply pl plug it in to an extra safe, 240 volt adapter. Well, it takes longer to charge this way. Still going. Gotta, gotta fill that capacitor up. Okay. Simply put the cap back on.
much we hit with it this time. What's the voltage? Um, it's 240 volts, but since it's actually the uh, peak RMS value of the AC sine wave, that's more like 300-ish. So yeah, 300 volts for hammer. That should be pretty visible. That's loud. <laughs> Not bad. All right, so stay tuned on the main channel to see the epic test montage of this and all the other hammers we're making for Thor Ragnarok. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on on both channels.